Given the interest in my typical run week, we thought we would do what is a typical bike week and give a bit of an insight into that. I guess the one caveat I'll give is like, there's maybe not necessarily like a super typical bike week. So it slightly depends on the weather as to how much I'm outside or inside when I'm in the UK. But I'll give a kind of a broad, this is sort of what it looks like and we can, yeah, and I can give the like potential adjustments I would do if the weather's terrible. On a Monday, Monday's usually a like, bit more of a chill day. I would typically go out for like an hour and a half to two hour easy social spin. So that's, yeah, a kind of just get out, have a little ride, don't do anything too hard. And if I'm super tired, I would probably cut that back a little bit. But yeah, I usually find on a Monday, it's quite nice to kind of get the legs spinning a bit and just be outside. Because otherwise it ends up being just a sort of swim and gym day and I'm just inside all day, which isn't that nice. Tuesday, usually on a Tuesday that would just be like a couple of hours steady because I'll usually be doing my hard either track or canal session running. So again, that's a kind of sort of early afternoon spin out of the legs before doing a hard run session later. Wednesday is usually a long ride, so like four to five hours. Usually it's kind of steady, but I guess riding around here, it's generally quite hilly, so you're gonna have quite a lot of efforts anyway, just of getting up the hills. As I get closer to racing, I would also sometimes have some blocks of intervals in there, of like longer intervals. But yeah, often it's just get out, get a nice long ride in. If the weather's rubbish, I would, well, to be honest, most of the time out here, we just go out anyway and get wet. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it might not be quite as long. Thursday is then usually my bike session day. Again, it'd be somewhere between like two to three hours of riding. Depends a bit on how close to racing I am as to how specific it is. Like I guess sort of January, February, most of the time I've just been going out with a group and doing sort of a mix of sessions that people are doing. So it might be going out with Beth and she'll have like a, anything from like blocks of 40, 20s, like 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Or it'll be longer blocks of just trying to do like hard threshold or tempo. Or it might be a, the boys are doing an hour of power and we're just trying to sit on the back, which is basically an hour of hard work. So yeah, generally speaking, it's probably about an hour of efforts somewhere in there and up to sort of three hours-ish of riding, depending on the day and what other people have got. Friday is usually a day off the bike. Saturday um, is then, so yeah, the weekend depends a bit on what I'm doing run-wise, but basically one of the days will be a long ride, potentially with efforts in again, depending on how close I am to riding, uh, to racing. The other day will be probably a little bit shorter, but yeah, depending on whether I'm like in a big bike, in a big bike block, Sometimes that might be two long rides at the weekend. As I'm now getting closer to racing and I'm trying to get some more long runs in, I'm trying to dial back one of the rides a bit to do the longer run. So yeah, I guess probably on average, that works out as maybe like 15 to 17-ish hours of riding a week. It's not that many kilometers around here because it's super hilly. It's kind of, a lot of it's steady, a few intervals in there. During like and during different blocks, I'd say like January, I was doing a whole block of like really short VO2 stuff. So I was doing that on the turbo because it's easier to do that like super high end, shorter. I was doing like an hour and a half session total. Now we're getting closer to racing. It's kind of like, it's better to be outside, get more time in position outside riding the roads. The bike is basically based on, well, Depends a little bit on what kind of session I'm doing and how social I want to be. So quite often the longer rides I've been doing on the road bike, just so I can actually be social, ride with the group. Because I had so long off the TT bike and now that I'm getting closer to racing, I'm probably gonna spend most of the next month on my TT bike just to get time in position and kind of dial that in. 
um, because I'm going to the velodrome in a week and a bit, so I might have a slightly different position that I just want to get used to. But yeah, if I'm doing stuff with other people, I tend to not, I tend to try and not be on the TT bike too much because you can't really be down on the bars that much, so it's a bit pointless. Gravel bike, to be honest, I use that more as the, I'm not using it that much at the moment because it's winter, so all our gravel is basically mud. So it's not really that fun. But yeah, in the summer, I'll use that probably for some recovery rides and probably for some of my longer rides, just because you can get some pretty epic places on the gravel. Road or TT basically depends on the, am I doing a session or a ride with the group and I want to be social or am I being antisocial <laughs> on the TT bike? Cafe stops, I used to be very against them, more because I was time pressured you and I wanted- You used to be against riding outside as well. <laughs> That's because I lived in London, it's very different. <laughs> Riding outside in London is terrible. <laughs> I'm now quite a big fan of cafe stops, but it does depend a bit on, so sometimes on my long rides, if I'm trying to do race nutrition, I kind of don't really bother stopping because it's not really worth it if you're not actually having cake. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the last, like definitely over winter months and when I'm not trying to do a specific race nutrition session, I'm very much up for cafe stops. I feel like the ride probably needs to be, it either needs to be a super recovery spin or the ride needs to be over three hours, I think, for a cafe stop. Otherwise, you spend a bit too much time faffing. Big fan of, of a good cafe stop. The route is generally determined on what I'm doing. Yeah, there's basically one really good stretch of flat stuff. So if I'm doing, especially if I've got longer sort of race tempo intervals, I'll tend to go out to the all day one because you get a good like, I think you can do about 30k, going like pretty much straight with not that many roundabouts and it's not that busy. But it's about a 40 minute ride out there. So it needs to be a quite long ride and and have those kind of intervals in for me once to, to want to do that. Other than that, it's generally pretty hilly. There's again, there's one other little stretch of like the main road going out past Ilkley, which I did today, which is kind of rolling, but you can get some good kind of efforts on, but it can be quite busy. So that's the kind of downside of that. But yeah, otherwise, generally all the riding around here is super hilly, so you just kind of, yeah, go with that, get your efforts in. I guess there's like flattish stuff if you're going out via Borough Bridge, but you generally have like a good half an hour each side where you've got quite a lot of hills to get over. <laughs>